Hello and welcome to the MyMiniMaths.co.uk video tutorials. And today we're going to be looking at the Arithmetic 16 target question 24, which is adding and subtracting of mixed numbers. First of all, on to question 24a. Now, I've looked at lots of different ways of doing this uh, with children in the classroom, and by far the most successful and popular with the children is the box method. And it just helps arrange and organize the question so it's almost like think of them as squares in the columns for addition and subtraction questions so we have one and a quarter and we are going to add that to two and a half now the very first thing we need to do is change these denominators so they are the same so they are common denominators so we're going to change the two into a four so it matches the one above times that by two so to keep them equivalent i do the same with the top i'm going to add this quarter to the two quarters to give me three quarters and then i'm going to add the one and the two for three whole units for a final answer of three and three quarters and you could change that into an improper fraction of 15 over four if you wished and next we're on to question B. So here we go again with our box. And it's three and three fifths. Subtract one and four tenths. So again, we're looking to make this five the same as the 10. So we're going to times it by two to make 10. Do the same with the numerator at the top, so they remain the same value, they're equivalent, which is a six. Six tenths, subtract the four tenths, gives you two tenths. And the three, subtract the one unit, gives you two units for a final answer of two and two tenths. Or we could also put it into an improper fraction of 22 over 10. And next on to question 24c here's our box we're going to take the three and eight tenths and we're going to add that to the one and two thirds so again we're going to look at making these comments so three times ten is thirty for our two new fractions. I've times this by three, so we do the same with the top as well. So that's 24 thirtieths. Here, we've multiplied this by 10. We do the same with the top, so that becomes 20. So 24 thirtieths add 20 thirtieths is 44 thirtieths. So, 44 divided by 30 so we can fit one lot of 30 into 44 and there's 14 out of 30 left over plus we add the three units in the one unit an extra four units for a final answer of 5 and 14 over 30 and finally on to the last question which is question 24 d so again, we take our box and we're going to take two and four sevenths and we're going to subtract one and five sixths. So again, we're going to make these common. So we're going to seven times six is 42. We times this by seven to get the 42. So we do the same with the top to maintain equivalence. We times the seven by six to get 42. So we do the same with the top. Now, don't forget we are subtracting this time. Now 24 over 42 subtract 35 over 42. We can't do the 35 over 42 is too big. So just like we would with any other subtraction question, we are going to borrow. So this now becomes a one. I'm going to add the 42 over 42. Now, don't forget, this is another way 
of just saying one whole, isn't it? So altogether, we have 24 and 42, which is 66 over 42. And we're going to take away the 35 over 42, which is 31 over 42. And then the one, take away the no one, gives us nothing for a final answer of 31 over 42. Thank you very much for listening today. And I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.